Hey everyone and welcome to my brand new house. My brand new echoey, no furniture in it house. I am so excited to give you a house tour. So we have been renting for years and years and years um, because my husband was in the military and now that he's out of the military, he works for the government which makes you move around a lot too. And we finally have decided to settle down and we bought our first home. And so I'm so excited to share it with you. And let's just get to it because it's beautiful. Okay, so my, so my husband's at work and it's just me. So I don't have anybody to film for me. So I'm going to try to show you guys as best I can. My son is here too. He's actually bringing stuff in from the car. He's being amazing. I So I am gonna do the best I can and show you guys around the house. All right, so we just came through this door right here. It's from the garage. And as you can tell, there's no furniture, so it's very echoey. There's like this little mud room as soon as you walk in, which is super cool. We're actually, weirdly enough, we're gonna put our piano right here. So I know that sounds weird, but we were trying to think of a place that would be kind of out of the way. And I have a different kind of mudroom idea for the garage. So over here is our half bath, and it's great. Um, the only thing is the soap does not fit on here. I even tried to put a smaller soap. Not 100% sure what I'm going to do about that, but I have to come up with a creative solution. But I think this pedestal is so cute and I think it's perfect for a half bath. And I love the oval mirror. So it's small but perfect for guests. So this is what you see from my garage door, my mudroom. You see my, I guess you would call it like the formal dining room. And it's a pretty good size. It's not not terrible at all. It has this nice little light and these tray ceilings. So I think it's gonna be perfect. That little opening right here actually goes right into my kitchen. And this opening goes right into my living room. And this is the Hulk that is bringing in all of the things that I brought over today. We'll just walk into the living room and the kitchen and show you guys what that's all about. This is really what sold me about the house. So this kitchen is more than I deserve, more than I could dream about. It's amazing. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Um, so a refrigerator would go right here and the coolest thing is the countertops are like a quartz countertop I want to say they told us and the black splash the backsplash is actually gray instead of white so I know it's very trendy to do white right now and it probably looks beautiful um, but this I thought was very different and I wasn't sure about it, and the more I look at it, the more I like it. Love having this island. It's not huge, but I love it. I can still put a table right beyond it to a really small table. And I just love it. I love that it looks out. In my last house, I loved the kitchen, but sometimes I felt like my back was to everyone and everything, and that was just not something I was comfortable with, especially because we entertain, it seems like a lot. So this is perfect. And I also liked that the house, the builder put in uh, just like one sink, whatever this is called, instead of having the divided sinks. Cause my husband uses actually the divided sinks and does it the right way. I do not. So feel me if you guys know what I'm talking about, but I love the big one length deep sink. I already bought, brought over some like soaps and stuff the other day. I'm just loving the cabinets. Oh my goodness, they're beautiful, white, wonderful. Oh dear, you're crazy. <laughs> we got super lucky in the fact that this was new construction. 
and nobody's ever lived in the house, but the house was so many days old when we bought it, so we bought it at like a discounted rate, so it was wonderful. We had a very, very, um, it was just through God. Like we could have never done this. Never in a million years could this all like worked out the way it was supposed to. It was all God who like put this into place for us. And y'all, we prayed. Let me tell you, I cannot even tell you the hours. I can't even count them, the hours that I sat at night and prayed and prayed that everything would go smoothly, that this would happen, that I could glorify God more. And, um, you know, just praying that everything would go well. And I, I was in like disbelief. Like I didn't tell anyone that we were even doing it. Not our like close friends, nothing. Cause I really just thought it was all gonna fall through. I was like, there's no way, there's no way this will work. So I couldn't believe it. With that being said, it does have new appliances, but we did buy a refrigerator from um, kind of like a Craigslist type of thing. So that'll get us through till we can buy a brand new one. But if you've never bought a house, you know that there's lots of expenses and there's moving expenses. So we needed to uh, buy a refrigerator, but that's okay. So I love the appliances. I love that the, the oven is gas. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about that. I had a gas stove many moons ago, maybe almost 10 years ago, and I've never had one since. Um, I've noticed that in the South, it's not, most people have electric and it's fine, but there are certain things you can't do on electric. So like heat tortillas, and things like that. You can't do it right over the flame at least. And that was stuff I was used to doing. So I kind of got used to not doing that stuff. So I'm excited. I'm actually super excited about this pantry and this part of the kitchen. It doesn't really look like you have a lot of counter space, but I think this is gonna be amazing. Let me tell you, for like parties and different things, I can see myself putting like a ton of desserts there and things like that. So I'm um, really excited about that. And this is the pantry. It's a corner pantry, which like, is the dream and I never thought it would happen. So let me open it and show you guys. So it looks like this. I think for now, um, I am not a huge fan of these wire shelves um, just cause I feel like they're hard to work with sometimes. I did see some stuff called like shelf liner type of thing that I thought maybe I would put on them. I think in the corner I'm gonna put Lazy Susans, like just those cheap ones you can get at Walmart to kind of maximize my storage. But otherwise, I think it's huge and great and I am just gonna be grateful for every inch of space because I have not always been blessed with a huge pantry. So eventually I'll, um, I do have some bar stools, but they're like dark wood. So eventually I got some new bar stools. I'll put a table right here. This actually goes out to a cute screened in porch. It's so cute. And I'm looking forward to this probably the most. Can't wait to put like a ceiling fan up there. And there are all of these geese just hanging out outside. So this, this screened in porch is a pretty big area. Like I'm super excited to use it. It doesn't have the best view. And it was so funny because I was telling my mom like, it's not the best view. It's just kind of like nothing and all this stuff. We were FaceTiming and the sun was setting like right over there. Y'all, it was beautiful. So I just cannot wait to watch the sunset every night over here. Oh my goodness. And as you can see, it is super windy today and that is a big old cloud. <laughs> okay, so I packed all these reusable bags with all of our DVDs and somebody has been taking them upstairs. I think all of them. All of them? Yeah. Oh, you're doing so good. I took a break. Uh, okay, so this is my living room. Super excited. The only thing, like, I have to get blinds for every window because it's new construction. It doesn't come with blinds. So interestingly enough, I don't even think I'm gonna put any 
over here, I don't think I'm gonna, this isn't my first priority. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna put my furniture, but I think it's so pretty. The flooring is actually laminate, um, but if you can tell, look at, there's like a big piece, a small piece, a big piece, a small piece. And I know that that is to basically make it kind of timeless. And if you know me at all, I'm kind of a timeless type of person. And I was very excited about that. Um, it was just the floor that was in the house. I would have probably preferred something different, but I think it will be fine. And the only thing we will replace these lights because my husband is just hating them. And I know for sure I'm gonna replace this one. Um, and I've already have one picked out here for sure. There's, I don't know what you would call these, recess light, I don't even know, um, all over the house. So that's super exciting. So this is my, my living room. I feel like it gives a lot of light considering it's at the back of the house and everything is kind of, has this gray tone to it. So in my kitchen, it's mostly white with this gray background. And then there's a lot of gray in the wood. So I have my Christmas socks, as you could tell, and I will take you guys up the stairs. So even my banisters have this kind of gray wood, which I think is kind of trendy. I'm not, I wished almost it wasn't, but then again, I love it. So I don't know. I have two big closets down here. This one's really deep and this one's more like a coat closet. So I'll show you. I told Ryan this was the Harry Potter closet the other day. So our Harry Potter closet. But I'm hoping I can do some really good like shelving storage in here. come up the stairs I have this really big open loft this was probably the only part of the house when I looked at floor plans there wasn't a lot of pictures because it was new construction but when I looked at floor plans this was the only part that I was kind of disappointed it didn't it wasn't as big as I thought it was gonna be um, but like I said this house is beautiful and I do not deserve it and I cannot complain in the least. I do like these ledges though. I think they're really awesome. And it's all open. So I like that. So I actually have an upstairs laundry room and it was beautiful. Um, this tile is in all my bathrooms. It's this gray kind of tile. Oh, sorry, I'm a shadow. And um, eventually I'll take this down because I'm sure I can find something different and pretty, but I feel like it's a good size and it's upstairs. So, hey, that's wonderful to me. So this was my son. All the stuff he brought up. He's amazing and I'm going to put it all in this closet. So there's a lot of closets here. Oh, we got more. And... So this is actually a really big closet. I'll open it for you guys in a second. And this would be like my son's bathroom. So it is beautiful. I was kind of surprised it didn't have a double sink, but it couldn't really make a lot of changes because the house was already built. So it has that same tile. If you come over here, it has a huge like linen closet inside of it which I thought was wonderful. Cute little window. So it's really like open. And then like a shower tub combo in here. Another cute little window. So it's really pretty. And I think this is our guest room, spare room, homeschool room. I have no idea what I'm actually going to use it for. The cool thing about this room is this was supposed to be my son's room, but he kind of keeps going back and forth. So who knows what he will pick. I love the fact, though, that 
it has all the walls that you can use, I guess you could say. And then it has like a little tiny walk-in closet over here. So I love this. And it looks like as of right now, it's gonna be our spare room. And that's okay with me. And it has this cute little walk-in closet. It's not huge, but it'll be great for all the things, especially the homeschool stuff. So let me see if I can get to this room. This is the other room. They're really similar. I think they're like a foot difference in size. I wanna say they're like 13 by something, 12 or 14, something, I don't know. And I thought this one was cute because of the windows like this. It looks like my son's gonna pick this one and I don't really care. I'll make whichever one he wants work. So probably what's gonna happen is I'm gonna do some kind of different kind of storage for his clothes. Since this closet's really long inside, it goes the whole length of the wall basically. So instead of having a dresser, I'm gonna put, I think like cube storage at the bottom of that and hang a bunch of stuff and kind of do it that way. I, I saw Jennifer from the Family Fudge do that with all her kids' rooms. And I thought it was a good idea because if I wanted to go back and get like a tall dresser or anything like that, if I changed my mind, it was something that I can use in my home. So I think we're gonna do that. But this room probably won't get the morning light and stuff. And I don't know why he just decided to switch. <laughs> Ooh, look at you, Inventive. Oh, you are so good. I love him. Let me take you guys into the master. So it has this little kind of like an alcove, and then you come into the master. Yes, there's an air mattress in here. My husband brought this the other day because he had to wait for, I think the internet guy, or I can't remember. So um, it has these beautiful windows and a little balcony and it's so pretty, oh my gosh, y'all. It has tray ceilings. It's, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. So much more than we deserve. Have I said that enough? Like, I do not feel worthy. And it is just beautiful and large and amazing. And maybe I'll actually shoot videos in here because I usually don't show you guys my master bedroom, mainly because, I don't know, I can't keep it clean, honestly. <laughs> I'm working on it though. I'm, I have actually been working on a system for it and I'm hoping that I'll have something nailed down by the time I move. So this was a main part of what sold me. Um, there is a couple of other things. I loved the kitchen and I loved the, another part of the house, but I loved this bathroom. And I loved the storage. So there's a huge closet right when you walk in. Whoa. And it has, I mean, it's just huge. I mean, this is just crazy and awesome. Plus, um, so then you come over here and you have the double vanities, which we've never had in our entire marriage. I've never had double vanities. I've rented nice homes and I just, it just never has been an option. So that will be so exciting, oh my goodness. Um, and it has a glass shower, which is something, this was like on my dream list. I really wanted a separate tub and shower. I take a lot of baths and I wanted like a deep tub. So y'all know us chesty women that you can't get your feet and your girls all under the water at the same time if you don't got a deep tub. So <laughs> this was like a dream. And we walked in and it was already done. It was like just done. And I was like, oh my gosh. Um, the stone on all the surfaces in the bathroom is, it's a man-made, oh, I can't, oh, the sun is going in and out. Sorry about the light. 
we'll go over here. The stone is all like, it's this white, I can't, I can't remember what they called it. I want to say it's like a man-made marble or something like that. Um, it was actually kind of a man-made stone, so there was a little bit of imperfections. You can't see it now, but I actually, it was cut funny and I had them like sand it right here and stuff. So, um, it might be quartz. I don't even remember. I have to ask my husband. I loved that this shower had the tile that went all the way up. I'm not sure how I'm going to love cleaning this. I'm kind of like worried about that part of it, but it's a really wide shower, which we actually did have a separate tub in the shower one other time, but it was like, it went to like the door like this. And so this has an extra like foot on it and so excited about that. So super excited. There's a separate little commode room. Super excited about that. If you've ever had to share a bathroom with anyone, doesn't even matter if they're what gender they are. It's just nice. And I have this huge walk-in closet. Oh my goodness, it goes all the way around with hanging. Um, I think I'm actually gonna put like some drawers right here. I'm not sure. Oh, a lot of times I've had to like hang up my jewelry because I just don't have any space and things like that. Looks like I'm gonna have more space. So we'll see, but I'm really liking the minimalist kind of feel to the house. And I don't want to clutter it up, but I know I'm going to clutter it up. You guys feel me? You know. You understand? You don't think you have a lot of stuff, and then you move, and you're like, ah. But this house is about double probably any house that I've lived in. So, you know. How are you doing now? <laughs> are you done? No. Oh. Okay, you know that clear tub? Yeah. Yeah, I had to bring that up. Yeah. But the stuff kept falling out. Oh dear. So when I got to the first platform and started bringing it up, I just brought it up and all the stuff that fell out, I just left it there. Oh dear. Uh, then I picked it up after I put the tub down. <laughs> I put it back in the tub. You're doing amazing. Okay. All right, so I'm walking downstairs. I've never had stairs. I lived in a townhome once when I was in like middle school, I wanna say. Oh, the, the geese are coming up. My son's very excited. They come right up to our screen and porch. I'll show you guys. Look at how close they are now. They must really love us. Good signs, good signs. We lived, we lived somewhere else when Ryan was really small, like in another state. And we had a pond in our backyard and we had geese that would come all the time. So the fact that the geese are there is kind of like good luck to us, I guess you could say. It was just like this odd coincidence. So like I was telling you guys, I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna love the stairs, but I am just blown away at the house and I don't care. <laughs> never had stairs before but I know like getting everything up when we're moving is not gonna be fun so that is pretty much why the piano is kind of going in a weird place so let me show you guys one more thing honestly this is why I bought the house this is like the reason I bought the house and so there is another door here and it walks in to like another living area basically so this is considered a mother-in-law suite so this is like the living area and i loved that i had the bay windows oh my gosh and so this is like the mother-in-law's living room and it has a full dishwasher microwave you can put it has everything but an oven it has that one sink same kind of countertops it doesn't have a back backsplash but that's fine and it's just beautiful. I love the white cabinets. It's amazing. Actually, the pictures that I could find online didn't have white cabinets and I was not sure I was loving that because ever since I had them years ago, I really liked them. I know they're more maintenance, but I just love the way it looked. So 
I wasn't sure, but I knew I would buy it regardless. So I was very happy when I walked in and there was this kind of color cabinetry. So everybody has their preferences, right? And there is a bathroom in here that is beautiful. And it actually has a bench already built in, which is wonderful. It doesn't have like tile in here, but what the stuff that's on the wall is actually like what's on the countertop. So it is stone, but it's, um, it's just not the pretty tile. So it's not huge. There's not a ton of storage in here, but there it's a fair amount. So one sink, a big cabinet underneath. So not a ton, but a fair amount. And you can put laundry in here. You have to put stackables, but laundry no less. And that's fine. And I thought this door was actually pretty. I know they have to do this for laundry. And then it had its own bedroom. So like with a door and everything, it wasn't just like a bedroom with a connected bathroom downstairs. They had its own space. Um, they have their own closet, which this bedroom is very small, which is the only thing that I'm super worried about, but it will be okay. So they have two doors because they have an outside entrance that they can get in by themselves and they have an entrance into the main house. So yeah, you have, you have probably guessed it. I needed a mother-in-law suite for not my mother-in-law, but my actual mom. And it was perfect. And I love that it gave her her own space. I love that it was attached to the house, but it was kind of like renting like a, a studio apartment. It's about 350 square feet, I would say. And it is so pretty. The aesthetic is beautiful. And I just knew, I just knew that that would be, that would work really well in my situation. And if I was gonna buy, regardless of like time frames, and so I don't know if anybody will live in it for quite a while, or maybe they'll live in it really soon, I have no idea. Either way, I if I wanted to go through all the trouble, I wanted to have it, and this was the only builder in my area that had anything with a mother-in-law suite. Everything I looked up online was um, like rooms downstairs that had an attached bathroom, but not like the living room. So when you're talking about somebody who's lived in their house for a really long time, as most of our parents have, um, you know, that's hard. It's hard to downsize that much, basically. So, and I thought too, like, it's great, like, income. Like, if it's not used for the purpose that I think it would be used, I can Airbnb it. I can rent it out. Like, it has its own entrance. So, I actually think that is a very big thing, and it can supplement the mortgage, too. So, I knew it was a good investment. And so, that is really why I'm just loving this house. I thought it was amazing. I can't even believe that God has blessed us this much. And I shouldn't be amazed, right? Because he can do anything and everything. But oh my gosh, you guys, I cannot, I cannot fathom that I would ever own this ever. And I was even scared to like start the process. I didn't even think that we could like go halfway through it. I didn't know. And this all happened so quick. Like I know it was God. I know it was him orchestrating it and just making it smooth for us. So if you get, I love house tours. I love like seeing people's floor plans and the, everything like that. I'll give you guys another house tour once we move in in a little while. And if you don't get anything else from this, get that if you pray about something, things will happen. God will answer your prayers. They are not unheard and he will answer them in one way or another, whether it means that he'll answer them down the road, it doesn't matter. Like I would have waited for this for as long as I could or I needed to, but he saw fit to give it to me now. But this is something I've prayed about for years and just never wanted to do. And now it just kind of came to me. So you are on the fence about anything, pray about everything. I'm telling you, it just, 
gives you peace in your soul. So I hope you enjoyed my empty house tour and I will see you guys in my next brand new video. Bye for now. Did you get it all upstairs? Did you get it all upstairs? Hi, Ryan Bird. I love this bird. I love this bird. I love this bird. I love him. You're the best. You're the best too. Are you tired? Yes. <laughs>